In Tyler, Texas, three constables served an eviction notice. They would clear the house of the residents, then do the following. Via the accidental activation of one of their body cams, the footage captures the constables stealing items from the house. Hold on. Hold on, don't come down here. Let me see. Right. Yeah. We set that on that dresser. Yeah. What's this? Uh, a box. That is Chief Deputy Laquenda Banks appearing to put items belonging to the homeowners in her shirt. Huh? Oh, you got your. Oh, no, I was watching the other bag, too. So we can roll this out. Then she takes more valuables into her possession. You still still in here? You found something else? Like they got everything in a good spot. This ain't like the daughter's room. Or, what you see? Yeah, I think that one. Like the Oakley's up. They was and everything. Now, are they allowed to keep anything of value? Who? What's all this? Yeah. 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 Let's see what's in here. Oh. Ray Bans. Okay. Hold oh, up. What's in here? Yeah. <laughs> we done got hot. They can come in. <laughs> yeah. This is hot. <sighs> you know, I ain't gonna need, need to go rest. I need to go sit down and rest a little bit. Oh, yeah, I need to go sit down and rest. Yeah, go sit down and rest. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little, little fat over there. Yeah, yeah. Trying to find a pocket. <laughs> Hat tip to the YouTube channel Lackluster for bringing this to our attention. The three constables were photographed here via the Tyler Morning Telegraph. They are from left to right. Smith County Precinct 1 Constable Curtis Trailer Harris. We'll have more on him in a moment. Precinct 1 Chief Deputy Laquenda Banks. And Precinct 1 Sergeant Derek Holman. In May, the trio entered a plea of not guilty 
through a waiver of arraignment and did not appear in court. They were arrested months prior, but bonded out of jail soon after their arrest on bonds totaling $30,000. Theft by a public servant is a third-degree felony, which can result in two to ten years in prison and a fine of no more than $10,000 if a person is found guilty, wrote the paper, as a Class A misdemeanor. A person could face a fine of no more than $4,000 and or up to one year in a county jail if found guilty of official oppression, according to the Texas Penal Code. The Texas Rangers would make all three arrests. Trailer Harris became constable January 1st following a contentious election last year. He succeeded Bobby Garman, who had served served as appointed constable since December 2017. Trailer Harris, a Tyler native, has worked in the criminal justice field for a while, beginning with his time as a Texas Department of Criminal Justice Corrections officer, all being over a decade. He's also worked in county detention at different sheriff's offices, which makes one question what other practices he has put forth when the cameras were not rolling. Meanwhile, Derek Holman, the man pictured on your screen, is set to go to trial this month. The resident of the home reported several items missing, including four watches, a partial box of 22 caliber ammunition, a box that could contain Apple AirPods, Oakley sunglasses, Ray-Ban sunglasses, makeup, and a safe containing antique coins, a quarter collection, military medals, a diploma, a birth certificate, and a social security card. More than $750 in cash was also reported missing, the affidavit stated. In June, Holman was arrested and released the same day on bonds, totaling $30K. He is charged with official oppression and property theft between $750 and $2,500. Last December, the Texas Commission on Law Enforcement suspended all three of their peace officer licenses. Because of the suspension, Banks and Holman can not work or have authority as peace officers. However, in an August 30th ruling, 12th Court of Appeals in Tyler, Texas, deemed Trailer Harris's $1 million bail amount to be unsupported by the evidence and therefore excessive. Previously, Trailer Harris's bond amounts were $500,000 and $10,000. However, after multiple violations of his bond were apparently caught on video, the $10,000 bond was increased to $500,000. The ruling, signed by Justice Greg Neely, stated the bond is excessive due to several factors, including including a lack of flight risk, as well as Trailer Harris's ties to family and the community and his history of employment. Nor, it said, is Trailer Harris a risk to the community if he were to be released. Alas, his bond was lowered from a million to $40,000. He posted bail the same day. A motion that was filed says Trailer Harris is no longer incarcerated and able to fully perform the duties of the position for which he was duly elected, meaning he wants his job back. The trial is set to start this week.